Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and in this video we will talk about some of the various possible mistakes that we can actually make in DW Sim flow sheet. So one of the things, so part one, okay. So first thing is that whenever you just open your DW Sim and select the various compounds, if in case you, you are not able to found your compound, then you can also mention the CS number like this like 7440 so like that you can actually find out the different compounds also you need to actually make sure that you select this okay if it is not picked then the compound is not selected and you may not be able to use it in your flow sheet however let's say let's take any of these okay let's take compounds and now you want to add more compounds then we can do it later on in the flow sheet itself so don't worry you don't need to actually make a new flow sheet but you can add, add it later so you can also choose choose any of these property packages okay so in case you forgot to add this you can add them further so don't just delete the whole flow sheet but i will tell you how to add them later on so let's say we have not added any okay we forgot to click on this add then we chose this si and how to change now one of the methods is going to this edit and then simulation settings and here we have the whole thing to choose various compounds thermodynamics like let's take the peng robinson let's click on add okay we can also choose the flash algorithms from here and they with the reactions the mass energy and the units too next next the part two so most of the times we generally specify the compound amounts in mole fractions okay let's say this is 0 0.7 and this is 0 0.3 okay and we just leave them like this okay we just leave them like this and then go to the stream conditions so it's always better it's always better to when you enter any value you just press the enter button okay or click on accept changes so that these values are recorded okay sometimes the stream conditions you might change them like let me change this to 200 pascals okay and if i go anywhere around here this value might come back to its original value if we don't click enter so it's always better to actually click enter so that the values change according to it and the stream is not what we don't want number three you might be confused that what kind of distillation column you should select okay so it's always better to start with a shortcut column why because if I compare these if I compare the shortcut column and the rigorous column then you will see that the rigorous column needs various predefined things like the number of stages the uh, condenser pressure the reflux ratio whereas in the shortcut column these values the required values are very less so less error is actually obtained in the shortcut if this is actually to get an idea of what values are to be used while actually using the rigorous distillation column it's always better to start with a shortcut column sometimes using a pfr can be actually difficult why because it requires the catalyst loading catalyst particle diameter and catalyst white fraction but don't worry actually and also one of the main things is that so what you need to actually do is just take any other reactor if you don't have sufficient data let's take the conversion reactor what does the conversion reactor really needs it needs mostly the pressure drop the and the outlet temperature if you say you can actually define the outlet temperature or maybe it is adiabatic or isothermic so it's always easy to take a conversion reaction with a reaction set of conversion type let me edit the reaction set i go to simulation settings and here you will have the reaction where you need to add a conversion reaction which requires less amount of data as compared to a heterogeneous catalytic reaction which requires almost the whole rate of reaction setup next here we have is the recycle block that really troubles most of us during our flow sheet so one thing is that whenever you are just doing this flow sheet make sure that your input and output are almost the same like what 
it is going out should be almost the same what is coming in and try to actually change the iterations value and get to know what maximum iteration it can reach to get a good desired solution. Most of the times what we fail to do is that the inlet is something different than what the flow sheet actually has. So make sure the inlet to the recycle block is actually what is actually needed or it is given. Many a times we actually refer various journals to actually get a desired value of the say, of the simulation variables. So if you are actually referring any of this flow sheet in a journal, please make sure that the flow sheet has the data given correctly. Like most of the times, if you see here in the distillation column number two, that C2, the D2 given here is is 2420 kilomole per hour. That's the D2. While if you look at the data given here, the D2 total is 1040. So maybe the data here is from some different experiment and this flow sheet may have some different experiment data. So it's always better to actually do the mass balance by yourself. Like whatever mass is coming in should actually go out if there is no accumulation or if it is not generated within the unit operation. Also double check your data if it is correct or not. Sometimes you may make a mistake in this. Next we have another journal where this P301 is actually given as a liquid effluent turbine. If you see this, this whole line and the above line both are identical but if you go for this 10 and 11 streams so in the 10 stream the vapor fraction so in the 10 stream the vapor fraction is 1 that means 10 stream is completely vapor while the 11 stream is completely liquid so how can we actually use a turbine for this liquid it's okay to use this turbine with a gas but with a liquid we need a pump which is what you need to refer the main journal as well as in the main journal, this P301 is given as a liquid expanding centrifugal pump. So you might take a turbine in the flow sheet and get the wrong results or maybe the flow sheet doesn't work well. So it's always better to visualize the whole flow sheet as this is a pump and not a turbine. Finally, at last we have a very important mistake that many of us make. In this cave opens or unit operation that we have here so in this unit operation that we have here the cape open unit operation we have used the cape open properties which might sometimes give the error it's it's better if you specify the properties by yourself like for here the k value can be taken from one of the best suitable methods like say we have taken it from Raoult's law and the equation of state might also be specified here depending upon the simulation so it's better to actually like if you take EOS then the equation of state you can select and hence the flow sheet may converge as most of the times these values are set as default by cape open properties and the flow sheet gives some error or it might not converge so try them and I hope you will get your mistakes fixed out thank you for watching please like share and subscribe this video